Hi and welcome to this week's EFT tapping video. Now, this is continuing in our series of tapping for improving eyesight and this is um, week five in which we're going to be looking at anxiety. So if this is your first time here I've put them all in a playlist so you can go back and look at the other ones. We've looked at um, fear, anger, resistance, I always forget one and something else anyway that we could be storing in our body that is affecting our eyesight so if this is your is your first time here at my channel go with Helen welcome and happy to have you here please subscribe uh, if you haven't already and every week I post a new EFT tapping video emotional freedom technique I became a practitioner myself a few years ago after it helped me through some really difficult times. So if you're new to tapping, I have made an introductory video and the link is down there in the description box below. So if you want, you can go and look at that, but you don't need to. You just follow along. It's very simple and you can tap on either side of the body with two or three fingers, just like that. That's all there is to it. And obviously if, there's, if you've got any mobility issues and there are bits of your body that you can't reach for, for whatever reason, then you can just skip those points and go, go to one of the other ones. Um, because it, it works on acupressure points, releasing stuck emotions. And we hold on to stuff in our body. And, you know, many physical diseases are caused by the energy not being able to to move around our, our body and there's a lot of science now between between behind EFT and how it works and I'm actually taking part in a study which is being run by Dr Peter, Peter Stapleton in New South Wales Australia and I've also put a link to her work in the box below if you want to go and find out more about that now this is, as I say, it's our fifth week. I had actually had an eye test last week, um, like my annual checkup, and my, my eyes for the first time, I don't know, in 12 years, they hadn't actually got any worse. So I thought, well, that's interesting. <laughs> I, don't, I mean, I can't say whether it's because of this or not. It, there's no way that I, I can know because I didn't have an eye test before I started doing this. But I know it can't it can't harm to release anything that you're holding on to. So as I said this week we're looking at anxiety. So I would say for each time just pick one thing that causes you to feel anxious. Now it might be something that's current or it might be something that that happened a long time ago when you when you think about it or when there's something that reminds you of it that it brings up that anxiety and whenever we have these emotions we have those bodily sensations that go with them so pick that thing and notice where do you feel it in the body this thing that you're anxious about and if you want it's a good idea yeah to close your eyes so you're not distracted by any visual stuff and feel into the body now, where is it in your body that you feel this anxiety? Just take some deep breaths. And notice how intense is this anxiety on a scale of 1 to 10. Where 1 is, it doesn't really affect you at all. And 10, it's like it's really bad, really intense. And it's purely subjective and it just helps you to measure it afterwards to see if there's been any shift. And of course, this isn't meant to be any substitute for psychiatric or medical advice. If you're really anxious, I think you do go and see um, a professional and don't try and do this on your own. For me, I, like, I think it's a great way of having these tools when, you know, we, we want like that immediate sense of relief before we then go and get 
get that support. It's a way of being able to support ourselves. So we start by tapping on the side of the hand. As I said, it doesn't matter which side. Just with three fingers, gently like that. Take some deep breaths, ground yourself. Feeling the support of the ground beneath you. And simply repeat after me, and of course you can replace any words that I say with your own, if that feels true to you. And just keep in mind the thing that came up for you that you feel anxious about. If anything else comes up during the tapping, you can go back and tap on that later. So even though this event is causing me a lot of anxiety, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I have all this anxiety around this issue, I deeply and completely love and accept myself anyway. Even though this issue causes me to feel anxious when I think about it, I deeply and completely love and accept myself the way I am now. Eyebrow point. Feel this anxiety in my body now. Side of the eye, even though this issue happened in the past, under the eye, it still affects me today. Under the nose, I can feel this anxiety stored in my body. and I know that it is affecting my eyesight collarbone and it affects my physical health too under the arm because this anxiety is stored in my energy field Head, and it gets in the way of me seeing clearly. Eyebrow point, all this anxiety. Side of the eye. Sometimes I think it's never going to go away. Under the eye. Feels like it's been there for so long. Under the nose. And I know that it is affecting my eyesight. Chin. All this anxiety I feel right now. Collarbone. I feel it as tension in my body. Under the arm. It's so hard to let go of it. Top of the head. But I still love myself anyway. Point. I wonder if I could release just a little bit of it. Side of the eye. I bet I could do that. Under the eye, because trying to let go of it all seems too much. Under 
end of the nose. So if I could just let go of that anxiety bit by bit. Chin. Maybe that would free my vision. Collarbone. Perhaps it would help my eyesight if I could clear that anxiety away. Under the arm and I could see just a little bit more clearly. And then I could be kind to myself as well. Eyebrow point, just letting a little bit go now. Side of the eye, releasing some of that anxiety from my body. Under the eye, releasing some of that anxiety from my eyesight. Under the nose, releasing some of that anxiety from my energy field. Chin, releasing that anxiety so I can see just a little bit more clearly. And my eyesight improves a little bit every day. Under the arm, as each day I let go a little bit more. Letting go of all that anxiety that's stored in my body and my eyesight. Stop tapping and take some deep breaths. Close your eyes. Notice now on a scale of 1 to 10 how that anxiety in your body feels now. Has it lessened a bit? Is there more of a sense of ease and freedom? And if it hasn't shifted as much as you like, and sometimes it goes the other way as we, as we all this stuff that we've been suppressing starts to come up, and that's fine too. The more you tap, the more you'll release it. But as I say, if you find it overwhelming, do and get, go and get some professional support. So thank you for tapping along with me today. Um, if you enjoy these videos and find them helpful, please uh, support my work by buying me a cup of tea. The link again is in the description below. And I'll see you again for the next tapping video next week. In the meantime, take care. Go well and lots of love.